Hello, Dr. Peverly. Kath, what brings you in today? I'm actually here to ask about your perspective on something. Since I already purchased my lottery tickets for graduate school, I have to decide on a first choice school. Should I win my draw at multiple schools? What school is your first choice? Tufts University. When I asked you for recommendations, you said that Tufts wasn't overly selective at the PhD level in physics. The program is from a prestigious research university and I'd love to teach there someday. Hold it right there. Tufts may very well be a prestigious research university, but what I meant by not overly selective was actually in your personal context only. Why? First, Tufts would acknowledge that you did graduate level coursework from their perspective. Second, you had two extra hooks that would compensate for your lack of research experience. You're a female applying for a physics PhD and a first generation university student, correct? Yes, but you haven't told me the whole truth. Do you want to know how many kids apply to that program? 78? You know how many people actually get in? 22? Only four or five of them matriculate in any given year. Is there a reason why the yield is so horrible? You said that you wanted to attend Tufts. Yes. Tufts. Yes, sir. What's the matter with you, Kath? A sheet of paper written in blood wine with your name on it and that says doctor, put together by a Klingon first grader, has more merit than a physics PhD from this school. So much for prestigious. On top of that, you want to work there. Why? At least the undergraduate students there are among the best and brightest. Since I have to teach undergraduates anyway, I may as well make sure my teaching isn't wasted. Having the best and brightest in your classroom isn't worth sleepless nights as a doctoral candidate. Sure, you are bright enough to survive the rigors of that school, or else I wouldn't have written you a letter of recommendation. You can get a degree from a first-tier university, but I hope the funding you'll get will still allow you to live modestly. My heart is set on becoming a jumbo. Since my parents didn't attend college, surely a PhD from Tufts would wow them. The only thing about you that will become jumbo after you graduate will be your head. Trust me, you will become unattractive to males outside the scientific world. The undergraduates will make it tough on you. Tufts has a nickname of Tufts for a reason. But don't choose to go to graduate school only to wow your family. I knew that I would have to deal with spoiled brats at Tufts. But is it tough other than for the spoiled brats? Tufts is called Tufts by some because Tufts is an academically rigorous school, but teaching to best and brightest students is harder than if you taught at a directional U where the students are mostly nowhere near Tufts caliber. In a directional U, your students will range from students you're confident that they can excel at any Ivy League university to students you would be surprised that they'd be admitted even there. Best and brightest students will come at office hours far more often than the lazy ones and you will be challenged every step of the way. These are the toughest students you will have if you become a college professor. At least it will be far more rewarding that way, if everyone had a minimum of academic strength and motivation as I'd expect from a reach for anyone university. Jumbos are very smart, and I'd be happy to make myself available to diligent students, as I assume they are. But most professors at directional use would find that the most, or only, satisfying part of their job is the best and brightest. As a graduate student at Tufts, you will feel like a big fish in a small pond in class. Since Tufts graduate coursework is a little lacking compared to the other schools for which I wrote letters of recommendation on your behalf. Even Brown and the Canadian use you purchased tickets for have better graduate coursework. Quite the contrary of the typical jumbo experience in graduate school, don't you find? Really, there is not one school where the difference is any clearer than Tufts between the undergraduate experience and the graduate one in physics. What do you mean? I don't mean to discourage you, but the graduate students at Tufts aren't exactly the best and brightest you hoped for. Sure they were among the better third of their graduating, undergraduate classes, but the best and brightest students that are graduate school bound don't apply at Tufts. Tufts undergraduates are among the best and brightest, though. What about GRE scores? I mean, 
I scored 169 on the quantitative section, 159 on the verbal section but I don't think they'd look at analytic writing, even as I scored 4.5. You are correct in saying that Tufts wouldn't look at analytic writing in the verbal section is only of marginal use. But don't fret over those scores. If you're admitted, at least you won't be treated like a number by the department. That's the most reassuring thing about being a jumbo for a physics PhD. See you again, and take care, until next time.